Hello everybody, Clunch back here today. Welcome to this video. How's everybody doing today? So, er, I said Call 100, didn't I? Call 100 Productions. So, it's been like three weeks since I've posted a video, and that was when I got this little, ch this chair here. Uh, great purchase, by the way. Um, and yeah, I apologize. The past two weeks, I've actually been in Norway for the Youth Olympic Games. My cousin was competing, not me. He's a bobsledder. So, yeah, that was fun. And so that's why I really couldn't make any videos. I mean, I could have made it the like the week before that. But, oh well. So, yeah, sorry about not really being frequent. But, so... This week, I'm basically introducing two new series to the channel. This one, I'm going to talk about. The next one, I'll just talk, I'm not going to just mention that. I'll save that for that video. But, um, yeah, so this eps this uh series is going to be just in the very basic, super very, really, completely basic intro into coding. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm really going to call this series yet. But, you know, we'll see. So, for all the coding, we're going to be using Visual Studio Express 2013. You can download this off Microsoft. It's for the Windows desktop. Make sure you get that specific version. I'll have the download link in the description below. So, this is if you're 100% completely new to coding, okay? Like, if you know just the basics of coding, you're probably off better off with like a different video. This is like brand completely new and you need to start somewhere so this is gonna be it like this isn't gonna be like super basic like it's not gonna be like right just high on the screen no it's gonna be like actual applications but it's gonna be just super simple so the beginner can uh, learn really quickly so yeah today we're going to be learning how to write a simple like a super simple notepad application there's plenty of these on YouTube this is like the most beginner one you could probably make and that's why it's a beginner series so yeah let's get started so here we are on the desktop uh, this is what the application will look like super simple as you can see just the simple text box here and uh, see a file here we have new open save and exit as you can see, these all work perfectly for just like your new open. As you can see, we can save this and we can just exit the application completely. So yeah, uh, so like I said, we're going to be using Visual Studio. Okay, so here's here's basically what it's going to look like when you first open it up and whenever you open it up again. So yeah, basically what you're going to want to do is go to File, and then a New Project here. And you're going to want to go to Visual, Visu <laughs> Visual C Sharp, so we're going to be coding in C Sharp. Uh, that's just a programming language. I know it's probably a little bit confusing for you. Basically, there's a bunch of different languages in uh, coding, just like uh, languages in the world, like English, Spanish, French, Danish. I don't know why I said Danish. Uh, Nor Norwegian, whatever you want to. Whatever language there is, I'm sure there's plenty of other well-known languages other than Danish. But that's what just came to my mind. So, yeah, programming is the exact same thing. They have all these different languages. Like, you have Java, C Sharp, uh, Python, C++, C, uh, Objective-C, and if you want to count HTML and CSS, then go right ahead. Uh, so yeah, there's plenty of more other than that, but we're going to be programming in C-sharp for this video and for all the videos going forward. So we're going to go to Visual C-sharp, Windows, and a Windows form application. So we're gonna just going to name this uh, Simple Notepad App. Okay, so now this will load for us. We'll be creating the project, obviously. Uh, 
Okay, so let's just make this full screen here. So this is what it's going to look like. Uh, so here's what you're going to do. So basically, if we go over to the toolbox here, like this is our little window. Like everything in the application is going to go into that window. So first, we're going to go into the toolbox. This is going to be like the easy part. This is the easiest part of this video right here. So first, in the toolbox, we're just going to search for a menu strip right here. And we're just going to insert that on the top of the uh, application. Just like that, we can just resize the window really quickly. And here, we can just type out simple things. And we're just going to, for this, since it's really simple, we're just going to do file. Underneath that, we can do a new. Underneath that, uh, open. Save. Exit. Just like that. As I said, super simple. Uh, next in the toolbox, we're just going to search for a rich text box right here. So we're going to drag that in here. We're just going to put it up top, and we're going to make it the full window, just like that. Okay, so that's probably like the simplest part of the uh, whole video, because next we got to get into the actual coding. Well, first we got to view uh, properties, if I can find that, properties. Here we go. So basically, all we got to do, because, well, I'll, I'll get into the reason later. But if we go into properties, this will usually be down here, I believe, if you just like first start it out. But um Yeah, so if you go to properties, here I'll just make this a little bit smaller. Like that. Uh go to properties, we scroll down where it says anchor and layout anchor. It's gonna click that, then go to, down to the arrow. And make sure your rich text box is selected over here. And you're just going to uncheck all of these so they're just all gray. Just like that. So I'll get into why we do that in a little second. So basically, just to make sure this worked, we're going to press Control F5. So once you do that, the application will start to run. And this is just like what it's going to look like. So boom, it's just opened up right here. As you can see, we can type on it, just like that. We do file. Now, none of these buttons work yet because they're not coded in. Boom. So basically, we did the whole anchor thing because when we open it just so it full screens like this. Because without it, then it just stays in one place and it looks awful. So this is just keeping it in full screen. So yeah, we can just close out of here. And uh, we will, if we uh, click on the top here, we can go to the properties and just rename the text to uh, just put whatever you want. I'll just put notepad test app like, like that. So now I'll just say it up there. Okay, so now we got to get into the coding part. So this is actually not awful. <laughs> So yeah, so first thing we got to do is click on file and double click new. So now we get into the coding part. So I'll just run over this briefly. Namespace, basically, you know, just what it's named. Uh, this, all this stuff you don't have to worry about right now. We just got to write in, we just got to put text into right here where it says new toolship menu. Right in these brackets, what we're going to just put is rich text box one and uh if we see all these guidelines these are just things to help you so you don't have to type out the full thing it's much easier so we just go rich text box one period text space equal and quotations and then a semicolon so this is basically saying that when you click new then the text is all going to change just nothing because there's nothing in the quotations and we put the semicolon at the end because uh, that just tells the computer, like, that's it for the, uh, that's, like, all we're saying to it. That's the syntax. That's the end of the syntax, basically. So, yeah. Now, if we press Control F5 again and run the application, just put some random text here, click File, click New, just like that, it clears. So, we got New out of the way. Next, we can go to the form.csdesign, and we'll double-click on Open. 
So this, I'm just going to copy and paste, and I'll have what I'm copy and pasting in the description below, so you don't have to just type it all out, because this is a, a lot of text. So if we just come over here, so we're just going to paste that in there, just like that. So looks like we do have some errors for some reason. So all I'm going to do here is just, if you get the errors, just basically, uh, all I'm going to do is just retype it out. But Wait, hold on. Okay. Okay, so all I simply did was just retyped out where the error messages were, and for some reason it just fixes itself. I don't know, but yeah. So, once you copy and paste it and just retyped out this part right here, then we can just do Control F5. And if we go to Open, just like that, we can open any text document. Like, for example, we go to Desktop Description. This is, our, this is the Golden UHC description. Just like that, it opens up right here. So, if Control F5 doesn't work for you for opening the application, you can just simply just go to debug and just go start without debugging for now. We're not gonna de we're not gonna start debugging. I'll get over that in a later video. We're just gonna do start without debugging because this is a really simple application. So now that we have open out of the way, we're gonna go to save, double click it like before. And again, this is a lot of code, so I'm not gonna type it out. I'll just uh, copy, and paste it. This is even more than open. Hopefully we don't get any errors, we don't have to retype anything. And it doesn't look like we did. So yeah, once you copy and paste that, again, Control F5, or go to Start Without Debugging. And we're just going to make sure this works. So boom, we can save this as Test Save. Save it. If we look on the, the desktop, boom, there it is, Test Save. So we can close out of our application. And finally, last in the whole coding part of this, we're going to go to exit. This is the simplest one. Thank God. So go to exit. So this is really simple. All you got to literally type in here is close uh, parentheses and then a semicolon. Just like that. So we can run the application. And exit. Boom. So that's basically the basics of it, but uh, if we actually looked, I don't have it open anymore, but I actually had uh, icons, like different icons in our in the application that I made before this. Basically, here's how you're going to do it. All you need to do is go to this website called Icon Arch Archive. So this is the website, you can look for icons. Basically, when you find an icon that you want, you just go to download ICO. Okay, let's open up Visual Studio back again. And to replace the icons, for example, let's make let's put an icon right over here. So for new, we're just gonna right click, then we're gonna do set image. And now, we're just gonna go to import over here. And wherever you put it, you can um just find it. And, there it should be. Uh, mine should... Well, I had some at one point. Here, let me download one really quickly. So yeah, so once you've got the image, just uh, import it over here. Press OK. And yeah, you can do that for every single one of them. And for this icon up here, you're going to go over to the properties again. I'm just going to scroll down all the way where it says icon and window style. And you just want to click the, tri uh, the triple periods. And then you can have all these right here. So oh, here's all the icons. And I'll just use uh, this notepad right here so it changes. Here, let me see if I can uh, set the image for new. Okay, so I just found it. So we just double click that, open. 
and press OK. Just like that, it'll appear right there, and you can do that for every single one of them. So yeah, and to basically publish this application, what you're going to do is go to where Simple Notepad App or whatever you named it. Uh, right click, Build. Or sorry, sorry, not Build, Publish rather. So now what this will do is uh, makes a downloadable uh, exe file. So we're just going to put this on the desktop rather and we can just like uh, put it in some uh, whatever just put it in the desktop uh, or wherever you want to put it and you can uh, put it on a website and I'll just or wherever you want to put it I'll just put it on a CD-ROM like file thing for now. Uh, don't check for updates and then finish it so now down here it should start the uh, build and the and it'll start to publish it it's right here boom published successful so this will should open up but i don't need that because we're just on the desktop you can get out of that as you can see here we have these three different files just put the test save thing in the recycle bin for now. And basically, if you just double click setup ex.exe, then just like this, you can actually download your application. So you can put this on Mediafire if you, if you know, if you want to give it to someone. Basically, once you download it, it should come up right here. Just like that. It'll be in your downloads, I believe. So yeah. And as you can see, I didn't fill out the icons like before. But this is a fully workable uh, notepad. Obviously, no, not as sophisticated, or it doesn't have uh, as many features. But uh, you know, for just a simple programming thing, you know. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was so long, but I really just wanted to make this a uh, simple video for people who just really want to start getting into programming. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. It really does help out. So if you want to like see this series continue. And uh, for the 15th time, I'm going to say this. This video was for the absolute beginners. <laughs> absolute beginners. So that's why it was so long. So I just want to go over this step by step. So yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. My voice was like really mellow. And it took me a while to talk there. So I apologize for that. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.